Hi, I'm Dave Carger. Thanks for joining me for this week's musical matinee here on TCM. We're starting our Saturday on a high note with a Fred Astaire Ginger Rogers musical that many fans rank as the best one they ever made. From RKO in 1935, it's Top Hat. Astaire plays an American tap dancer who comes to London to star in a new show and falls in love with a beautiful woman staying at his hotel. That's Ginger Rogers. But a case of mistaken identity gets in the way of their budding romance when she comes to believe that he's already married to her best friend. Top Hat recycled many of the same elements that had worked so well for Astaire and Rogers in a film they made one year earlier, The Gay Divorcee. That was the first time that Astaire and Rogers got dual star billing, and it established them as one of Hollywood's hottest screen teams. RKO was quick to exploit the formula with Top Hat, and once again, Astaire plays an American dancer in Europe, done up in top hat, white tie, and tails, with Rogers in elaborate evening gowns, and the two dancing to hit songs on glamorous Art Deco sets. Even the supporting cast here is largely the same as in The Gay Divorcee, with Edward Everett Horton, Eric Bloor, and Eric Rhodes all returning, and Helen Broderick stepping into virtually the same role that Alice Brady had played before. But all the similarities didn't bother audiences. In fact, they loved it. And once again, Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers served up exactly the kind of witty, romantic escapism that Depression-era moviegoers wanted and needed. From 1935, with a terrific score by Irving Berlin, here is Top Hat. Irving Berlin later said that of all the musical scores he wrote for the movies, Top Hat was his favorite. He especially loved composing for Fred Astaire, whom he described as my closest and best friend. You give Astaire a song, Berlin said, and you could forget about it. He knew the song, he sang it the way you wrote it, he didn't change anything, and if he did change anything, he made it better. After Top Hat, Irving Berlin went on to write the music for two more Fred Astaire Ginger Rogers musicals, Follow the Fleet from 1936 and Carefree from 1938. Now, if you were paying close attention early on in Top Hat, you might have spotted a brief cameo from a young starlet named Lucille Ball. Well, up next, Lucy returns to star in a comedy she made at the peak of her career from 1954, co-starring Desi Arnaz.